I've had a lot of people ask, so today I want to walk you through my desk and editing setup. Hey, my name is Jake, and if you don't know me, I create content here to help solo creators on the go. So I test and review lots of drones, cameras, and lenses here in Alaska, and I give you tips and tutorials on how to use them. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Today I want to walk you through my entire editing setup, what I use to edit my videos, how I set my desk up, and how I work with the footage that I shoot. To start off with, this desk is a desk that I made. I bought this big pizza butcher block from a hardware store and then coated it with three coatings of tongue oil. I really like the way tongue oil looks and I like the wood combination with it. And then I use structural pipe, steel pipe, to create the legs and put those legs on wheels because a desk this big and this heavy, it's nice to be able to just roll it around if I need to adjust anything. And one thing I really love about this is the, the way I built it. it. Underneath, I put all my hard drives. I kind of hung this piece of, uh, this is shelving for a closet, and I hung it there and put all my hard drives on there. I use this because it gives more airflow so my hard drives don't get hot. But having them underneath, one, keeps it quieter up where I'm working because I don't hear the hard drives spinning. And I just like a clean look or as clean as I can possibly get for my desk surface. And then over on the side here, I have the amplifier for my speakers, which I'll talk about in a second, and the power regulators, the voltage regulators for all of my equipment. I also have an uninterruptible power supply, a UPS, because power here in Alaska can be kind of iffy, especially in the winter. And then jumping into what I use to edit. My whole entire edit station is based around my 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max from 2021. And it is fantastic. It's a powerful beast. There's a whole video on it right up here where I show how much time savings I'm getting based on uh, my old machine, which was a 2019 MacBook Pro. And my editor of choice, because I'm Mac based, has been Final Cut Pro for the last eight or nine years. I really like it. I'm not a big fan of monthly subscriptions. Final Cut Pro doesn't have a monthly subscription and I'm able to do everything I need to do in Final Cut Pro. To edit videos and photos well, you need a good color accurate monitor. This monitor is from BenQ. It's an ultra wide monitor. I'm a huge fan of ultra wide monitors because I just like having the extra space, especially when I'm working with big timelines. So this is a BenQ 2K ultra wide monitor. It's uh, you know really nice. The color accuracy is extremely high and really great. While pretty much everything you see in this video is stuff that I've purchased and paid for, this was sent to me by BenQ. Now they're not paying for this video, but they did reach out to me about a month and a half ago and asked me if they could send me the Screen Bar Plus to try out in the studio. The idea is that it reduces eye fatigue and eye strain by adding some ambient light in your editing area to help your eyes just not have to work as hard. It attaches to any monitor because it uses this clamp and counterweight system. It doesn't have to attach any other way. And the nice thing too is that I can take it off really quickly when I'm streaming because otherwise it would actually get in the way of my camera where my camera sits behind my monitor. It's dimmable from 100% down to about 10% and it has really high quality LEDs that are rated at 95 CRI. And it changes color temperature from 27 700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. So it'll match pretty much whatever sort of ambient lighting you have in your office or in your editing station. And one of the cool features is that it will automatically sense the amount of light in your room and set the proper brightness level on the light bar itself with the push of just one button. The light bar plus has made a pretty big difference for me. In fact, just a couple of days ago, I had 24 hours to shoot, to create, shoot, and edit an entire video ad campaign for something. And I can tell you that it made a big difference because I was able to do all of those things, walk away at the end of the day after a really long day and not feel like my eyes were just wiped out and exhausted. Plus, I think it just makes the desk look nicer. Having that little bit of extra light illuminating the desk, it makes it feel warm and inviting and I have really, really enjoyed it. And to be able to work with footage, you obviously have to get it into your computer. And this is by far one of the best investments I've made and one of my favorite pieces of tech. This is by Blackjet USA. My friend Jevin Dovey turned me on to this. And basically it's this little tower. You can swap out different modules. If you work with CF Express cards or anything like that, they've got modules for all kinds of different memory cards. And then at the bottom of mine, I put a four terabyte SSD. And then the second one up has a two terabyte SSD. And then of course, CF Express type A card reader and SD card reader. And it, the whole thing is really fast and it's been incredibly stable. Like I've never had it issues with it disconnecting or doing weird things like that. Um, it's just, it has been great. So all my footage gets dumped on both the two terabyte and the four terabyte SSD. And then all my edit files, everything I work with in Final Cut Pro is based on that four terabyte SSD. That's my edit drive. So once a project is done there, I'll move it off of that drive onto my backup hard drives, which are under the desk. And yeah, it's been great. When I'm mobile and when I'm working mobile, I take lots of these little SanDisk SSDs with me. They're fast, they've been really reliable and they've performed great for me for years. So all my footage will get dumped on a couple of those. So I've got backups because backups are good. 
and then um, I can also edit off of them when I'm out and about or when I'm traveling. Next to that, because I do live stream, this is my mic preamp and it has a USB interface straight to the computer, which is great, but this is made by Universal Audio. Universal Audio has been on the field of studio electronics for you know decades and decades and they make some really great stuff. These just came out and I'm gonna try it because it has a built-in compressor, it's got a single or you can get a double mic preamp and then some monitor out. So this basically controls my studio monitors and my mic for when I'm live streaming or you know studio monitors from when I'm just editing and it's awesome, especially because it includes a really nice high quality emulation of a really fantastic studio compressor from Universal Audio. And while we're at it, let's talk about my studio monitors. These are incredibly rare and really high quality studio monitors that were made by a mastering engineer from Capitol Records. He hand built these in pairs, so they're like precisely matched. These are super phase accurate. They're really natural sounding and I've used these for decades now. Um, I really, really like these studio monitors. And for my mic of choice, when I'm live streaming or if I'm doing voiceover work, I use the DDS mic. 2S, so it's the short version. I found this mic to be fantastic for stuff inside and outside. And then continuing on with the streaming stuff, I use a Blackmagic Atem Mini, not the Mini Pro, not the Mini Super, not the Mini Extra Super Large or anything like that. It's just the regular Atem Mini, and it switches basically between four different video sources, so I can plug my phone in and play stuff really quickly if I need to, or I can have a couple different cameras plugged in and play from them to get different angles, but I can do it all live, and it works great for live streaming. And then next to that is my stream deck, which I use to be able to trigger like clips of video I'm gonna play or the countdown or the intro or the outro, all those kinds of things I trigger from there. I can even mute and unmute my microphone from there when I, cause I stream with OBS. And um, yeah, so this is a great setup for me. It's really simple and really straightforward and gives me a lot of versatility for when I'm live streaming. For me, I don't use anything fast, fancy with a keyboard and a mouse or anything like that. I use an Apple wireless keyboard and the Apple trackpad. They work great. I have no complaints, um, yeah. And this really has nothing to do with editing, but iFootage sent me this timber pod and I really love the way this thing looks. It's this nice oiled wood. It, I think it looks really nice on my desk and it just, the whole like bronze sort of finish uh, antique looking thing that they've got going on is really cool. And honestly, this thing is way better than I thought it. I kind of thought it would be gimmicky when I got it, but then actually after trying it out, it's a really nice little tripod. And of course I have things like a charging station for my phone. I also keep a pen and paper notebook on my desk because if I got an idea or something strikes me at the moment or when I'm talking with clients and they want notes or changes or anything like that, I can just scribble notes down really fast. And I like actually using pencil and paper, pen and paper for that kind of stuff. And for the light, my key light here, what you see is an Amaran, which is by Aperture 200D. Great light, lots of power, not super expensive, but very accurate, very good color. And then uh, Light Dome 2 from Aperture because the Light Dome 2 is really nice. It doesn't shift the color of the light at all and um, gives you nice, beautiful looking, soft, diffused light and helps to hide some of my wrinkles because I'm getting older. Of course, all this stuff is linked in the description with affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra. They do help me out. And I will be doing more videos about how I edit videos, how I color grade, work with sound, all that stuff in the future. So subscribe and stay tuned if that's something that interests you. And in the meantime, if you wanna learn how to improve your videos and photos, click or tap right there, put together a small playlist. I'll see you in one of those videos. As always, if you have questions, ask me in the comments below, or you can join my live stream Wednesday nights at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.